Ah, they cite coalition as their- no, but I'm gonna lose this. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're gonna be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where we play every nation in U4 in 1444, that is unique enough of course, in alphabetical order, and this week we're back with the nation of Burgons. Also, sorry if I sound sick, it's because I am. <laughs> Burgons is a nation located in the HRE in southern Germany, and we're the only other nation aside from Austria that has Austrian culture. So of course, that leads us right into our goal. But first, what is actually Burgons? Who has actually played with them? Well, we're obviously a duchy, we're a monarchy, not one of those uh, republics or theocracies. We're not a free city, by the way, just a regular nation. And Burgons does have some pretty cool national ideas and some pretty weird ones as well. National manpower and idea costs are great, and the land fire damage too. We got discipline, and then there's weird ones like may recruit female generals, female advisor chance plus 50, and power projection from insults. What's up with those three? But the other ones are pretty good. Tax, production efficiency, inflation reduction, fort defense, and morale of navies, even though we're landlocked. I guess Lake Constance stance wants us to have a navy. But what do we do as Burgans? Like I said, we're the only other nation aside from Austria that has Austrian as its primary culture, so of course the goal for this campaign will be to become more powerful than Austria. And before we begin, if you enjoy this video, don't hesitate to leave a like, it really helps out a lot, and if you want to see more A to Z videos, or more U4 videos in general, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. Let's jump in as Burgans. Alright, alright, here we are as Burgans. Now obviously we're gonna have to expand not in Austria, I'm thinking we go this route maybe we can even try and form bavaria along the way it is gonna be pretty hard we're surrounded by free cities austria and then switzerland pretty much the only nations we can declare on right at the start are augsburg and the three leagues i don't know if i want to get involved with this level three fort so it's gonna have to be augsburg but first let me do some estate stuff all right all right estate stuff done let's take a look at our army oh i guess i have to get rid of this guy sorry sorry i know you guys don't like that but hey it is what it is oh first limit is actually six nice there we go three more infantry regiments uh, what's our ruler like? 343, three, actually not bad. This air, 333, three, three, eh, I'll take it, I'll take it. Oh, give consort military command? Nice, nice, I like that, I like that a lot. Boom. All right, so let's see some allies maybe. Hmm, who can we ally right here? Actually, we can ally Switzerland and Milan, that's pretty good, but I will Royal Mary Austria first. You know what they say, keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. So let me establish my diplomatic ties and spy on Augsburg. No, we don't have unique missions. And Austria actually sent me an alliance offer, that's awesome. I was improving with them, but thank you, Austria, thank you. All right, now at least we're protected against some guys that are weaker than Austria. So Augsburg is still the first target. All right, all right, the spy network on Augsburg is finished and I did also spy on Constance. Why is this, you ask? Well, because Constance and Augsburg, they're allied. So I wonder if I can declare on Augsburg here, humiliate them or something, but actually take Constance. Much better province, it produces cloth, center of trade, 12 dev, but it's gonna be a lot of AE, so let me think. All right, I got the free company as well, morale is up, let me link these guys to these guys, and let's declare on Augsburg, man. I guess we'll see what we can do in the peace deal. No, I can't co belligerent Constance. So how are we gonna know when we get more powerful than Austria? Simple. We're in the country screen here in the ledger. This is the development of all the nations that I know about, of course. And Austria has 171 dev. Of course, they're gonna get a lot bigger. They're gonna get hungry. They're gonna get Bohemia. Maybe even the Burgundian inheritance. So once we pass them in this regard, in dev, that's when we're bigger. All right, all right. I've beaten up both nations. Super easy war, actually. And let's see. Let's go and piece them out. So if I take Augsburg, it's 24 aggressive expansion. Pretty expected, to be honest. Now, let's see what happens if I want to take Constance. It's a... Uh, oh, it's only 25. Well, 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 doesn't that make things more interesting for us? Goodbye, little free city. Should I take both of these guys? No, I shouldn't. And if I separate piece Constance, it's still 25 aggressive expansion, so that's perfect. Let's take all their money as well. Boom, Constance is done. And for now, I can just like humiliate Augsburg or something and take all their money. Or wait, maybe I shouldn't. Nah, I'm not gonna take their money, so the truce is lower. All right, nice opening, man. Nice opening. Next target, it's gotta be Württemberg or Augsburg again. We're making squat from trade right now, so let's just tell these guys to establish communities anyway. Nice, our loans went up from two ducats to nine. <laughs> Honestly, it's really cool that we start off with plus 20% national manpower. You know what? I think Switzerland is a valid expansion opportunity as well, man. They vassalized the three leagues. Uh, maybe we can take some stuff over here. Why not? Meanwhile, Württemberg have allied Bohemia, so that's definitely off the table. Switzerland, they're allied to Trier and Gelray. Maybe with my allies, we can take them, but it's still super annoying. Lots of level three forts. So maybe Augsburg will be the second target as well as the first one. Tier two government reform time. It is, of course, time for strength and noble privileges. Ah, man, 
35% manpower and actually even more from the nobles increased levies plus 10% so that's plus 45% national manpower let's take a look at it where is it it's right there plus 45.1% without even taking an idea group man 14k manpower as a two province miner pretty strong a new champion of the joust you say he's gonna suck dude let's see him uh oh Oh, six shot, dude. Nice. Dude, a three star general and 45% manpower in 1458. I'll take that any day, baby. Brugans it's op maybe it is meant to be played either way my truce with augsburg is now up they are still the easiest nation to declare on man so really i don't see anyone else we can declare on i am gonna call on milan to help out with mines but i am gonna try and re-ally mines after this is over and that was probably the easiest war i fought in eu4 <laughs> let's full annex augsburg all right now we got more expansion opportunities right Munich, hmm, they're not part of the Bavarian guys just yet, but Landshut, they do have Ingolstadt as a junior partner, and they're allied to Aragon, so that kind of sucks. It is time for our first idea group. Now, listen, we could buff up our army even more. I don't feel like we really need quantity. Maybe we could go with quality or offensive, but the reality is, boys, we gotta go with Diplo, man. We're in the HRE. Let me start focusing on this. Hmm, it looks like Castile is in a little bit of trouble here, but Aragon, they're not doing so well either. So let's see if this little war over here prevents Aragon from defending Lance Hut. All right, it seems that after all, Munich is the best nation to declare on. They're allied to these bunch of guys over here, but I can call on my own boys and let's see what we can do here. Maybe I'll even vassalize them or something like that. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, this war is done as well. So let's see, let me take Munich here and what happens if we try and vassalize them? That is actually quite a lot of AE. I don't want people being this mad. Sure, a coalition won't really form, but it'll slow down my conquests significantly. So let's clear that. Take Munich, um, humiliate, war reps, money. Sounds about right. All right, nice, man. I'm uh, I'm pretty satisfied with where we're at. Mission, expand Burgons. I will. I will expand it. Finally, man. Finally, we can start building some buildings. Ah, let's build a marketplace in Constance. Feels so good. You know, man, we're blobbing out so hard, dude. We're at <laughs> four provinces right now. Meanwhile, Austria, they haven't done anything. Looking good, boys. Looking good. And it seems that Hungary has actually declined the PU. Now, do Austria have a CB? Let's see here. They actually don't have a CB. Yeah, they actually don't have a CB on Hungary. So so pretty weird. I wonder if they'll get them later though. What about Bohemia? Of course I do have to take uh, Justified Wars. So I do have claims built up around me and I'm just helping out Milan in this general war. But uh, man, all of these guys, they're hard to fight. Literally Switzerland is going to be the easiest nation to fight, man. All right, boys, let's fight Switzerland. Uh, they did ally Genoa in the meantime. I can't tell them apart from Trier, but Genoa won't join. So let's call in all my boys, even though it's pretty much overkill. But listen, we got to take down these level three forts somehow, man. So let's declare for uh, Chur right here. Nice. Nice. Switzerland got declared on by Burgundy as well. Oh, wait, they're fighting Austria too? Huh. I guess uh, they wanted to switch up the little Burgundy Liege war this time. Now it's Burgundy Switzerland, baby. Yeah. A combat has been sighted. That's it. I'm dead. No, no, no. The economy fools. Come on. The economy fools. Dude, did the OP general die too? <sighs> Jesus. And this Switzerland war is done as well, boys. Luckily, Burgundy didn't occupy anything, so we can peace out on our own terms. And let's see what I can take here. I do have claims on these two, so we're going to be taking that. Okay, not bad at all. What about this? 27 AE, not bad. What about Elans? 39, okay. And uh, I think we should be satisfied with around three provinces here. I'm also going to take war reps and all their money. So nice little war versus Switzerland here as well, man. Expansion is continuing. We gotta push into Bavaria somehow, though. We gotta make Landshut end their alliance with Aragon. Wait, so I just fought Switzerland, and now I need to help them. <laughs> yeah, I'll accept, man. I'll accept. What else am I gonna do, right? Another day, another stab loss, another ruler dead. Give me a break, man. Boys, you know what I just realized, man? Take a look at the grid powers list. I have 101 development. And how much did Austria have? 172. Dude, we're not that far off from them, man. We're not that far off. And you know, even if you boys think expansion is easy at first glance, it's really not, man. We have to fight Landshut and their subject Ingolstadt over here. The main problem is their alliance with Aragon. And over here, Württemberg, the main problem is their alliance with Bohemia. I literally have to wait for my truce with Switzerland to run out, which is gonna take a while. Or we could also fight the free cities, which we can't because Austria would help them. So yeah, I'm pretty much locked in here, boys. Locked in with alliances and truces, man. I have acquired cannons. I can't put them anywhere, though. <laughs> Not again. Come on, dude. I already had one. It was the economy last time, but now I just wish I lived in more enlightened times.
Okay, so I just got a message that Austria is preparing to attack Bohemia. That could be excellent for us, of course, unless they call us into that war. So let me just uh, disable joint offensive wars for Austria here. And then, if that happens, we might be able to take advantage of fighting Württemberg without fighting Bohemia. And there we go, Austria did declare on Bohemia, which will help us fight Württemberg, hopefully. Now, this also sucks for us because Austria will become uh, a lot more powerful. Well, they'll gain a lot more depth. All right, excellent. Austria, Pista, Württemberg and they made them break their alliance with bohemia but i did lose my claim on Württemberg in the meantime so uh, as soon as this is finished we'll be doing some more expanding boys all right sweet i spied on them got a claim time to declare call in the boys overkill yes conquer urak you know now i can get claims bordering claims which uh should enable us to fight outside of the guys we just border maybe we can take advantage of this by vassalizing someone up here it is time for our second idea group and i feel like we do need to go with a mill one here you know we're good on manpower and stuff like that so quantity is out of the question maybe offensive nice can i focus no wait i just remembered we keep losing when we don't pick quantity did i make a mistake and that's the way uh-huh uh-huh i like it uh-huh uh-huh let's take these two provinces 19 a literally no one cares about wurttemberg boom nice we've grown by 15 dev so austria did get bohemia but they also made them release moravia i've literally never oh they're they're who say they're who say oh my god if that's not funny i don't know what is but in the ledger here did austria's dev increase yeah it didn't of course this is expected this is just their own dev i wonder if i should count their subject development as well though they're not on the great powers list so they don't have like 300 dev or something but they would have half of bohemia's development which as we can see is 105 so they got about 52 or 53 from bohemia which means they're at about uh 230 something dev right now in the great powers list of course oh so uh english out here declared an independence war on Lancehut, and Lancehut is an ally terra oh they're not ally terragon because uh castile got him <laughs> okay i should have paid more attention right there but we can also expand in bavaria now which is pretty sick well i just accidentally declared war on switzerland by pressing c yes it does happen a lot more often than you guys would think but uh let's call in some guys uh to help ease this pain ah uh, i just want these two anyway and i was thinking of declaring on them so it's not that bad these these stab loss events dude like burgundy's fighting uh switzerland again as well uh, i wonder if austria is involved this time too looks like they're not and there we go switzerland is done as well let's hope i don't get coalition from taking these two provinces and i well i don't care now <laughs> there we go switzerland is done perfect what's our dev right now 146 man we're so close to austria dude oh it's because hesse is the emperor now i wonder how austria lost the emperorship i actually don't care oh it's because they have a queen consort of course of course but uh this does make things a bit easier for me in case i need to fight austria they won't be as powerful i did forget to mention that because we're austrian culture we can actually reform austria if it stops existing so these guys can form bavaria these guys can form swabia you know the german regional tags but we for Austria. I wonder how Hungary thought it's a good idea to declare Moravia. They seem to be, well, losing. Mainz want to conquer Nassau. I have claims on these two right here. If I participate enough, will they give them to me? Of course they will. Let's take a look at their dev. Actually, they're pretty small, so even if they give these to me, I shouldn't get coalitioned, I don't think. Okay, the war is done. I have pretty good participation here, 57%. Uh, they might give me like one of these provinces. Let's see, let me unpause and there we go it's done i actually got both of them so that's pretty cool let's check out the aggressive expansion and it is actually higher than i thought it would be um okay i guess we'll just chill a bit please please i've stabbed up so many times please just stop hesse you have no power here wait is it hesse or thuringia i keep uh, getting them mixed up you know their flags are so different um it is actually Hesse. Okay. Whoa, look at the Mamluks, dude. You rarely see them expand this way. So, uh, shout out to the Mamluks, I guess. Ottomans being weird as always. Muscovy, they're chilling. Uh, nothing out of the ordinary in the rest of Europe, I would say. Dude, Hesse is such a weak emperor, man. Everyone's declaring on the HRE left and right. Croatia is fighting silly, bro. Hesse didn't defend them. Embarrassing. Embarrassing. You know, I could fix this if I was emperor, but hey, no one's voting for me. <laughs> Croatia actually lost. Pain. Just stab loss after stab loss after stab loss. What the, What did I just accept? Okay, whatever. Uh, we have to do something. How many times have I stabbed up? Someone has to have counted by now. 
Asha just asked me to get up on Habsburg on my throne, and I literally didn't click it fast enough, and it disappeared, dude. Uh, I guess that's a little missed opportunity right there. We could have PU'd them. The would-be coalition has subsided, and right now I'm spying on these guys. This is my next expansion area, bro. Ingolstadt, they took out Lancet. Very nice. Bro, look at the balls on Brunswick, bro. They declared on Hesse, man. They declared on the Emperor. They were like, hey, we're gonna take this province, and there's nothing you can do about it. Wait, who's in this war? Huh. Ah, there it is. Austria asked me again. Okay, I'll take a von Habsburg now. Okay. Not bad. Not bad for a von Habsburg. You know, I'm not opposed to these bohemian pretenders taking control. I'm really not. Burgundy wants to join the Emperor. Let's see what Hesse says. Let's not concern ourselves with Burgundy too much, though, and let's continue our own conquests. Uh, I'm gonna declare for, uh, well, some of these lesser worth provinces, like Waterburg right here, and pull on these boys. Hey, they actually allowed Burgundy to enter. Wait, what? The... What? Bruh. Easy dub versus Ingolstadt, man. I don't know what else to say, dude. All of these words are so easy. Did any of you guys know that Burgans was actually this powerful? <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun with them. Either way, let's not get bogged down with fun. And let's peace out. Let's take this, 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 this. Let's not take that. Let's not take their capital. <laughs> oh, wait. Huh. 51. Now, would that slow us down too much? Hmm, let's see here. I do like these provinces. Landsat over here, it is salt, 13 dev. These two are the best provinces after all, but listen, let's save them for later, boys. Let's be patient. The Protestant Reformation spawned in 1502 in Death Marchin. I feel like, you know, when we have the opportunity to go Protestant, we really should because we don't get that much, uh, you know, we don't get that much opportunities to go Protestant. So why not, man? Why not? There we go. Very nice. Very nice. How many times have I helped out Milan fight Genoa? <laughs> Even I don't know myself anymore, dude. The stabs and the wars with Milan. Oh my god. Uh, Bohemia didn't actually manage to break free from Austria because of those pretenders, and now Austria is fighting Hungary, so they'll uh, definitely get more powerful. Meanwhile, Castile have snagged themselves not only a PU over Naples, Portugal, and Aragon, but England too. And they're completely loyal. We're not that far off from Austria, boys. We're not that far off, man. Only 13 dev. Now, should we count Bohemia? Maybe, maybe not. I'll think about it while I'm playing, but we'll see. All right, let's declare on uh, Würzburg here. I might even take Memmingen here since they're a free city and they're allied to them. But wait, do I really care if they're a free city if Hesse is the emperor? Another cool thing about Austria losing the emperorship is I can call them in to my own wars. So let's see what happens if I co belligerent Memmingen. Yeah, let's do this, man. Let's do this. Let's declare for Ingolstadt, co belligerent Memmingen, and fight uh, all of these guys that are all actually pretty tiny. Bruh. Like, how many times? Did France get coalitioned? What's what? Oh, what happened? Oh, did they get Burgundy from? They got Burgundy from Hesse, dude. Look at this, man. One of the biggest AI coalitions that I've seen and not caused from a bug, dude. And they're already losing to Castile in the Castilian reconquest of Maine. I guess they want to take that back for England. But dude, man, I think I'm the one preventing the coalition from firing since uh, since I'm fighting a bunch of these guys here. But this is crazy. Even I can join, actually. Uh, where is it? Where is it? There we go. Join coalition. I'll even join versus them, dude. Let's beat up France. Huge coalition, man. I'm still in shock. All right. Uh, let's be safe. Out, I am gonna take this and uh, I don't care about a coalition because I'm gonna be fighting in a war on the same side with these guys so let's do this right here and uh, I think we should declare a coalition war on uh, on France man <laughs> there we go let's go beat them up boys but yeah this is funny man this is definitely funny uh has a please don't annoy me <laughs> you rarely see coalitions like this man I'm super satisfied we got this uh on tape so to say now how is Moonster on France's side but they're on my side actually <laughs> that's what it's, uh, it's the other monster, isn't it? Imposter among us. I swear, I feel like I revoked the privilege in the HRE and I'm just letting my minions do all the work. I guess we won, huh? Ah, we're gonna lose the Von Habsburg. <laughs> Oh, well. All right, well, since we did beat up France, uh, let me get war reps from them. Of course, you guys know I like to be rich. And let's make them uh, release some nations that are going to pop out in the HRE, I guess. Luxembourg, um, Geneva, out up here, Flanders, Picardy, maybe. Yeah, that seems about enough. Oh, we can do someone else, too. What about uh, Barry? No, not Barry. What about Auvergne? Nope. Wa, Nevers, sure. We didn't really do much to France, but... Hey, the coalition still exists. I guess you gotta destroy a coalition to get one formed versus you. Yeah, right now I'm just sitting back, relaxing, and waiting for this uh, coalition to leave. And uh, helping out Milan in their fourth conquest of Albanga. Of course. Okay, so Austria have somehow managed to climb on the Great Powers list. They are number eight. Their uh, total dev is 304. Their own dev is 222. Of course, I myself, I am more powerful than Austria. I do have more dev than them. But 
with their subject Bohemia, I'm not. So I do need to get more than 304 at this point development. Uh, and that's about two more provinces, if I'm being honest, man. Maybe these two up here? Ah! My duke, the rotten swine in Saxony declared war upon us. Prepare for battle. They cite coalition as their- No, but I'm gonna lose this. Honestly, this is where uh, quantity would come in handy. Meanwhile, Austria has been declared on by Poland, so let's hope they shrink a bit in this war. And uh, let's hope I survive. Well, I mean, I'm not losing so far. <laughs> Can I peace out? No. I'm gonna go for quality here, dude, immediately. Or maybe sh I should go for defensive. Okay. Okay. I can peace out. I can peace out. Let's let's make them Protestant. Okay, let's just take their money. Woo! Okay, that was super tough, man. Luckily, I could slack in twice. Uh, we also got internal conflicts coming up. Lost a step again. Thank you, events. And Austria, they haven't lost? Oh my god, they won. All right, I'm spying on Trier right now, getting ready to exact my final plan. All right, the final hour is upon us. Let's declare our presumably final war versus Würzburg. Call in all my boys and... uh. Let's do it, baby. Let's do it. Let me set everything as provinces of interest, just in case it isn't. Uh, I guess I can't set these. Oh, well, never mind. All right, I've defeated all of these guys, but now I'm waiting because Berg decided to fight Trier as well. Nice going there, Berg. And ladies and gentlemen, I even had to pull out a calculator to do this. You know, I know lots of people play U4 with calculators, but I'm just not one of those people. Now, if we take all of this in this war, yes, we will get 113 aggressive expansion. Yep, 52% overextension. Yes, the entirety of Europe will coalition us, but listen, something more important is a foot here. Boom. We just took those provinces. Let me start coring them. And let's let a month go by. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We do have more development than Austria. They have 336. I have 341. I'm not above them because I don't have uh, colonialism. So let's uh, let's get colonialism as well. Boom, there we go. We should jump up above them uh, right as soon as this month takes a coalition. It did start to form immediately. Am I going to let it run for one more month? Of course I am. And there we go, boys and girls. Look at the great powers list, man. Burgans, number six, 341 development. Austria, number seven, 336. We have five more dev than them. And even though in the ledger, I've been having more development than them, with the exception of bohemia now i have more dev than them along with bohemia as well honestly i have been pretty lucky since they didn't get hungry they didn't get the burgundian succession so this was a pretty lucky run i don't think we could have uh, accomplished this if they did get hungry or burgundy or both of them it would have been simply impossible but there we go man there's the great powers list i have more dev than austria but yeah man we started off as burgunds a pretty insignificant and small nation in the south of the hre the only other nation with austria Austrian culture aside from Austria. That means we can reform Austria just like the other German regional tags. And honestly, expansion at the start was pretty difficult. We had to push into free cities, Switzerland, Austria on this side. This Bavarian alliance with Aragon over here, but we did manage to overcome everything. Even defeated France in a coalition, even defeated a coalition ourselves. And this is what we look like. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, is this a playable campaign, man? After this, I don't think so. But yeah, man, we did accomplish our goal. There it is, boys and girls. You see it right in front of your own eyes. And I am happy to say that this run in A to Z as Burgons has been a success. And that has been Burgons in A to Z. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with this nation next week. If you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash the Redhawk Live. And if you want to catch up on stuff from over there, you can subscribe to the second channel. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you want to see more A to Z videos like this or more U4 videos in general, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.